Hey, this is Luke Simons with Salt Strong. Today we're gonna to be doing a review of this paddle tail lure. This is a soft plastic. It's actually one that you've probably never heard about. It's made from a small company here in Tampa. The, the bait is called the Slammer Series and it's made by Southeastern Fishing Tackle. Um, again, they, they recently came out with this. I've been testing it out. And, uh, and so far I've had some, uh, some good luck, but I'll share with you both the pros and the cons of what I've experienced so far. And I'll also talk about the rigging. I've tested out a variety of different hooks and I'll explain to you, you know, the one that I think, at least the one that I've felt has had the best results. Well, first of all, I took this lure over to Louisiana and we went over to fish with C.A. Richardson and, uh, and it was awesome. I actually caught the, uh, the fattest by far redfish oh I've ever God. caught. It was probably the heaviest uh, as well, <laughs> given how, how thick it was, but I just made a cast. Uh, it went and sucked it down and, uh, and fight was on, got around a bunch of underwater, underwater weeds and, uh, and got it to the boat and, uh, and what, a, yeah, what a thrill that was. Also had a really cool sight fishing shot that was super close. Uh, Joe had just hooked into a big fish. It had taken off and the one that was with it just stayed there. And, uh, and so I just underhand pitched it to him and, uh, and it just took it right there at the, uh, at the boat. But the caveat on that is that that was in Louisiana and those fish are just super aggressive. They probably would have eaten anything. But as far as you know, the pros that I've, uh, that I've seen on this lure is just the fact that it, it has good action, uh, you know, has a, a good tail, but it, it's, it's built in a way that the tail gives good action while it doesn't do too much wobbling. Because when you, when you, uh, you know, put these, these baits on, on, on a weighted hook to fish the shallows, so that you can fish shallow uh, water with a lot of vegetation where it's weedless, is, uh, is uh, many others that the tail is too big for its body and it just does way too much wobbling, it just doesn't look natural. This one does have a, a good fit in my opinion. Uh, another unique thing about this is that it is thick. It's really thick here in the body and, uh, and it's a, made of a dense material, so it launches. I mean, even, even when rigged on one of the, uh, the, the light weighted hooks with a, just a 1 16th ounce weight on the shank, it launches, absolutely launches. That, that's my number one, uh, that's my number one reason why I, I actually do, uh, do use this lure pretty often because I can cover a lot of water very easily. Uh, also too, if you're fishing uh, you know, mangroves or docks, you know, any sort of ledge, is that these do skip well also. So the fact again that it's dense, it's, it's round, and, uh, and when rigged on, you know, on a light weighted hook, it'll, it'll skip extremely well, go very far in a very straight skip as well. So you can have some really good control on your, on your skip casts. So, uh, so now some of the cons on this lure is, is one is that they're just hard to find, right? It's, it's based this, this one company is that makes them and they don't distribute them. I don't, at least I don't believe so. So you either have to go to the store uh, over in Tampa, or you of course can buy them from their, uh, their online website. I'll put a link down below if you do want to, uh, to check that out. But if you are an insider member, you've probably already heard about these baits because I have been you know, showing them in some of the, uh, the, the recent you know, insider reports. And, uh, and for those members too, we do get a discount. So uh, if you are a club member, make sure to take advantage of your discount. Uh, another con though, is the fact that this is just, it's big and bulky. Um, and so it, it's not very good for catching smaller fish, right? If you just wanna go out and catch a bunch of fish, like a bunch of sea trout, for instance, this probably is not the best bait for that. However, if you do want to pick out the bigger trout out of an area with a lot of small trout, this is a, a fantastic lure. And that's, that's often what I use it for, because you can cover a, a huge expanse, you know, a very big grass flat, and you can cover quickly uh, with this, and you'll pick off the bigger ones uh, without uh, without catching the smaller ones. And another con is that, you know, for those who do like skipping, like I do, I love fishing docks and mangroves, is it just given how heavy this is and, and just how much how much velocity it gets when, you, when you're skipping it up under the mangroves, you know, it does, it does end up tearing. So you can only do that so long while it stays weedless. But, uh, but that kind of is the case for, for most soft plastics. Another con that I noticed is that, you know, this does require a little bit sturdier rod. I, I do fish this with a, with a, a rod that is, uh, has a heavier power than I do, uh, you know, some other soft plastics. And just given how thick it is, right, how dense this material is and how, how heavy it is, you know, you do have to have a little bit more power in the hook set to make sure that that hook can, uh, can penetrate, you know, out of the material and, uh, and into the fish. Uh, just in case, you know, the, the hook does have to go through the material. In most cases, I recommend rigging it where the, uh, the hook is just a little bit elevated above the, uh, above the lure. But again, even sometimes, you know, it just comes at a, at, a, at a weird angle 
and, and you do need to make sure that you're able to set the hook through the material when needed. So as for rigging this bait, I have tested out a, a, you know, a variety of different hooks. You know, I, I do prefer, again, the, the weighted hook, the weighted shank hook uh, with this bait because I'm often fishing this in, in shallow water with, uh, with a lot of weeds and a lot of structure. So I've tested out this type. This is a Mustad grip pin. I've, you know, I've tried that one. I've tried the, uh, the owner twist locks in a variety of different sizes. This is the 4 aught and, uh, and then this is the 3 aught the smaller 3 aught I was going to assume that the 4 aught was going to be my favorite. However, this 3 aught the owner 3 aught has, uh, has been what I found to, to get the best results. And uh, you know, surprisingly, uh, because it is pretty small relative to the, the uh, size of the bait, but as far as how you rig it, you just screw it in to the uh, to the top and get it all the way to the top where the uh, the bait is just just barely touching the uh, ring. Turn it around, put the hook straight through the middle, and there you're done. And this just uh, again it has a nice profile. And when I do want to make this weedless, if I'm fishing docks or or areas with really heavy thick seagrass and shallow water, then I just I just dig the uh, the hook point just barely in that material. So now it's totally weedless. That hook is now is now bent, but as soon as a strike does happen, right, it'll just kick it right out of the material, and that'll increase the uh, the hook set ratio. Well, that was the top three pros and cons that I found so far when uh, when using this lure. You know, it, it has been a lot of fun to use, and it doesn't just catch those aggressive redfish in Louisiana. You know, I have caught some uh, actually really nice flounder here in Florida, as well as that trout earlier was uh, was over here in, uh, in in Florida as well. But, uh, but so far, I, I've enjoyed using this, and if you have used it, uh, please do leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts, or if you have any questions. I do check every question that comes into our website, so, uh, so be sure to leave it there. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for your time and watching this video. I hope you can get out on the water soon and catch some big ones.